What is up dudes, Kevin here, back with a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute fastest way to level up and earn XP in Red Dead Online, while on top of that, earning a bunch of money and gold bars, so this is one of the best methods in general for all the above, so if this is helpful at any point guys, or you enjoy this, remember to drop a like down the video, it helps the channel grow greatly, other than that guys, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite method to level up in Red Dead or earn money in general? And besides that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And let's get right on into this video. To start this all off, you want to go to a fence near a body of water, preferably. Let me show you guys which one I'm at. I'm here at the Van Horn Trading Pours fence. Now, we're here for a reason. We're going to need dynamite for this technique. Now, dynamite is pretty cheap. And do not worry, we're going to make a ton of money doing this method as well. So you'll get your money back plus some extra. So let me go ahead and show you. Now, as you see, dynamite is only a dollar. Um, I already have seven dynamite on me, but uh, you can carry eight of them, so make sure you have max them out. Thanks. Now, it's important to be at a fence near the water or a body of water. There's a couple of them around the map. So you got one at Van Horn Trading Post. There's also one here in Santanese near the water. You got one in Rhodes right here, which is near this river. You got Emerald Ranch, which is near this body of water as well. So it actually seems like most fences are near a body of water in the game. So you should be fine at either one that you go to. Now, once you guys have your dynamite, you're going to want to go and get yourself an animal carcass. You can find them all over. It's pretty simple. Uh, near this Van Horn trading post in general, there's a bunch of deer. So you guys should have no trouble finding a carcass. Now, once you have the carcass, you're going to want to head over to a fishing spot to have a lot of fish in the area. I'm going right here, guys, right to the north of Van Horn. If you guys want to use the spot, it doesn't really matter which spot you use. But I know in particular that this spot has a lot of fish. You'll see them start popping up in a second here. Now, how this method works. Well, if you guys seen my previous videos with the carcasses, as you dump them in the water and a lot of fish come over to them, and then the fish simply die because it's shallow, and you pick up the fish and you go and sell them. Now, that's a great way to make money. But there's a little twist to this where you can make money and get a huge amount of XP also. So let me show you how this works. Go to your progress menu, guys, and go to your awards. And then at this point, you want to go to your hunting section and move over to the right. You'll see this hunting award. Now, basically how this works is you got to kill animals with dynamite. Now, if you're doing legit animals like deers and cougars and bears, that's going to be pretty hard because you have to kill two animals with one explosion. And as you can see, the tiers keep raising up and up as you go, all the way up to 1 out of 20 times, kill 2 animals in an explosion. And at each tier, you guys will receive a reward, an XP reward, and you can get a gold reward as well. And as you go through all these, you can reset it at the end and complete it over and over. So you're going to get huge amounts of XP, which I'm going to walk you guys through. Now, there's a couple tricks to make this even easier and to actually make it better in general where you'll make money on top of that. The way most people do this is they'll find a little pond and they'll just start chucking dynamite into it and they just get XP from it and they don't get money. They don't get their money back from buying the dynamite. It's, it's a decent way to level up, but I don't really recommend that as there's a better way since we've recently found this carcass method to draw in the fish. Now with this method, you're going to be able to blow up a ton of fish easily because they're all going to be in the same area. You can bang out these challenges super quick, but on top of that, you can be able to retrieve the fish and uh, get money from them. As you can see, there's some big fish in this area, so it would actually be pretty smart to bring a cart to this spot. There's some big old fish here that you're going to need to throw in a cart or throw on your horse or throw on your shoulder. So let me just show you guys how this works. So you're going to dump the deer on in. Now, once you guys have the animal in the water, let it let it marinate there a little bit. Marinate its juices into the water, and you're going to see a bunch of fish start coming over. Already, we got three fish on it, and it's been in there for a couple of seconds. You'll see the ripples in the water will start moving closer towards the fish over time. So I'm going to go ahead and let these fish all gather up, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how we do this. All right, so now that we got these fish in the area, guys, you want to take out your dynamite. There's a good amount of them. I would say about six. And basically what you do is throw your dynamite in the water. Hold them on up. And you're going to go ahead and loot these bad boys. And boom, just like that, we got two large muskies right here that we're going to be able to sell. And those two alone should give us all of our money back for the dynamite, so that's already covered. Now, let's take a look at our challenges and see our progress. And as you guys can see, we're now at four out of five times kill two animals in explosion, about to beat the second tier. And that's because we killed three of them in that one explosion. So using the deer actually helps a lot because it can draw a lot into one area. And you can just keep doing it over and over. Watch this, guys. So once I look, look, I leave the menu and there's already fish there. There's three there. So again, throw them in. 
boom. And as you see, we completed that second tier, 105 XP. And we get all these fish. We got a pike. We got muskies. We got these little guys. I don't know where the little guys went. I think I just launched them to a new planet. I saw a couple bluegills, though. But, hey, let's grab these big boys. Drop them on down. And you just rinse and repeat. So, with this method, you can do this all in one spot. Now, people that throw dynamite in the river and just keep going and going, they have to change spots constantly because the fish get scared away and whatnot. But putting the deer in the water will draw them back in. So, I don't have to leave spots. I can do this, finish all the tiers, go to the fence, buy more dynamite, rinse and repeat, hit up the butcher, sell these bad boys. And at the end of it all, you can reset the challenges and do it again. So, you're looking at thousands and thousands of XP. Pretty much unlimited XP and money. Again, boys, launch the dynamite in. Oh, there we go. And dudes, well, we've been doing this for like two minutes, and we have these four big fish. There's some little fish that I probably blew away. And I actually think the little small fish, like bluegills and perches, I think they just get disintegrated by the dynamite. I do know salmon works with this, the rock bass. Any medium to large sized fish will survive the explosion, and you can grab them and sell them. Also, quick note on the first tier when I did this, I did this before I started recording. Um, and I got about 223 XP just to let you guys know since you guys didn't get to see that in the video Now a good thing to keep in mind as well guys is do this at a large body of water a lake would be good Or I don't really find creeks too well or rivers because when you do blow up the fish They're just gonna go down the river you got to chase them and it's just you know It's just not as good. So see here. I literally just walk down. And there's already more fish So you can literally do this all in the same general area if you pick a good spot Oh, Krieg's Lake is good. Um, around Van Horn is good. You can see there's a bunch of fish out there already again. And they're going to start working their way over to this deer. And already, guys, you can see we got a bunch of big boys. I don't know where they're coming from. They just keep coming out of nowhere. And we, we got more to blow up. Some more XP. We got three of them heading over this time. Now, of course, you can do this at areas where there's a lot of little fish. So you'll actually complete these challenges quicker. But you won't get as much money because obviously they're not worth as much as these fish. So I usually prefer to do it here. It's a little slower than if you were to go to, let's say, you know, areas like Dakota River or this spot right here, which is the first spot I showed you guys. There's always people here now. But hey, luckily, as you guys can see, you can use this method anywhere. Those people don't know that. They always just go to that one single spot because they don't know that you could do this in multiple areas. Anyways, I'm going to let this last little, this little guy head over here so we can complete this tier of the challenge. Get three kills right here easily. Toss him in. Oh, did I throw that too far? I think I did hit him again. There we go. So this is about six of these pike and muskies we've gotten so far. Six of them. And we have not been here over five minutes. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So here we go. Dropped them on in. And you can already see these fish turned around. And they're like, oh, I smell some good eating. We got a bunch of them coming over this time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And that seventh one, hopefully he comes over as well. Actually, it looks like he, you know, got distracted by something else. So we got about four of them coming on over. Boom! There we go. We got him. Oh, this deer is getting... Oh, hopefully this deer lasts. I'm about to get a new deer. He's getting blown to pieces bit by bit. See, we're now at 12 out of 15. So we're on the second to last tier. And we're blowing through this, guys. You could... if Well, obviously I'm recording, so this takes a little longer. I'm explaining to you guys. But if you're doing this on their own, you can, you can complete this in five minutes. And you can reset it and rinse and repeat. So you're going to get some serious leveling done with this method. Now, again, guys, the deer is the game changer for this method because you can do it in one spot. It's going to save you a lot of time and cut down the time that it takes you to complete these. Because if you're not using the deer, well, you're going to have to travel around from spot to spot. Because you're going to throw the dynamite in, the fish are going to run away, and they're going to have to go to a new spot. But with the deer, look, what the heck, that guy just killed himself. Why'd you ruin my challenge? You're killing yourself. I, oh, 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 I did not mean to do that. There we go. That's two more. So that's 10 muskies. 10. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to sell these. I should have been more prepared with a cart. But hey, definitely grab a cart if you're coming to this spot. Now, if you guys run out of dynamite, simply go back to the fence right here. Ride back on over and you're good. So let's see what my progress is looking at because I went through all eight dynamite. Now, I did have a little mishaps. I wasted about two of them just by accident being an idiot. So check out hunting. So with eight dynamites, we pretty much almost completed the whole thing. I would say with eight dynamite, you can complete the whole thing if you're very, you know, picky with your shots and make sure there's a lot of fish around before you throw it. We got 13 out of 15. We're almost done this. Let me go buy more dynamite and I'll finish this off and you guys can see what kind of stuff you're looking at. All right, my dudes, so we're back and we're at a different spot now. 
just because I figured I would show you all, a, you know, a different location they could do this at. Doesn't matter where you're at, it's gonna work regardless. All you have to be aware of is ripples in the water. If you see ripples in the water or just fish in the water, then you know you're good to go. So let me drop the deer right in here. All right, so we got a nice little group of fish here. Let's take out our dynamite and uh, let's light this bad boy on up. Oh, and there we go. We got the, is that the fourth? We got the fourth level and we got these salmon. So you can actually pick up these salmons and these one go right into your pocket, which is good. So actually, if you guys don't want to do the whole wagon deal, come to this spot. You can just straight up pick up salmon. We got three in that one go, which is pretty dang good, boys. Pretty dang good because we can literally just put the deer back and do the same thing over and over. So it's so simple. It's really so simple. The, the deer makes this challenge a lot easier than it would be before because normally you just throw the diamond in and actually, you know, might as well show you guys since we're at the end. So this is what you would normally do. Literally just start throwing dynamite in. Now the problem with this is you scare the fish away and then you have to find a new spot. So it's like a one and done type deal. But you can grab the fish as well. It just makes it a little difficult. They're all spread over. And as you see, the ripples in the water, guys, are gone. There's no ripples. You have to find a new spot. Let me show you this challenge. You can see we got a decent amount of XP from that. And, and we got to get some gold. So Now, as you can see, we completed all the tiers. And you can now reset the reward. And resetting the reward will provide you with gold nuggets, which add up into gold bars. So reset the reward. And when we close this, we... boom, we got 0.2. Not bad, and we got a lot of XP from doing these challenges. Plus, we get a lot of money from killing the fishes. So this, guys, is probably the most effective way to earn money, XP, and gold, and Red Dead Online all at the same time. Of course, Showdown Series does the same thing, but it doesn't compare to the money you get from this, guys. And on top of that, the XP, you it's so easy. This is so much easier. So, without wasting any more time, if you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, comment down below. What's your favorite method, favorite spot, how much money you got? You guys know the deal. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.